This is important for you. Making good decisions are critical to my place in life. Somebody say amen. I made a bad decision. Amen. Oh, you know, my father, how many of y'all remember the series? Oh, I taught this in youth group, what was it, 20 years ago now. Seems like 20, 28 years ago. I taught this, don't go to Rock Hall. <laughs> amen. And, uh, and for many of you, real quick, for many of you that don't know where Rock Hall is, Rock Hall is uh, outside of Chestertown, Maryland. It's, it's about 20 minutes, 25 minutes away. Uh, from Chestertown, Maryland. It's a place where you can get seafood like crazy. Uh, crabs, whoo, glory to God. That's where the crab thing just just exploded, Rock Hall. Little town, little town, Rock Hall. And my daddy had told me, you know, uh, it was, you know, my daddy had, in the country, before I got my own car, he always told me, he gave me his keys, and he, and he told me what time to be back with his car, and he told me where I could go. All right, amen. amen. Now I was 16, and he gave me his car, and he gave me the keys. He said, "Here, you know, here." And then, but he said, "Don't go to Rock Hall." <laughs> amen. Real quick, he told me, "Don't go to Rock Hall," you know. And I said, "And uh, I said, okay." Then my boys got in the car with me. I mean, I had one. Of the, the, the fellows lived in the neighborhood, and uh, they came walking over, and they said. We, we got in the car, we started riding, because the guy that had the keys got to drive, you know, that's who hung out with you all the time, because they knew you could get the car. In the country, you need somebody with a car, because <laughs> stuff is way out. Rock hole, amen. And so real quickly, and so I said, uh, I said, we riding all around town, and you know, where we usually ride at, with nothing, nothing going on. Remember, we went there the other day. Wasn't nothing there no more. They didn't eliminate everything. And, uh, and uh, the fellows were sitting on the back seat. I always tell the story. The fellows sitting on the back seat. And we just sitting there. It's just these three amigos. And we just chilling. And we like, what's going on? Ain't nothing happening, man. And then my buddy looked at me and said, you know where it's happening? <coughs> Rock Hall. <laughs> Amen. But my father had told me don't. Amen. All right. Now he told me don't go rock hole, but somebody else was down rock hole. <laughs> and I said to myself, and they told me, well, you know, maybe we can get in the rock hole and get out of there before he even knew it. And I said, yeah. I said maybe we can do that. And I said, he said, Doc, I'm telling you, man, if we're gonna if we're gonna if we're gonna link up with anything, you know, young fella, we we talking crazy. Y'all know what we talking about in that car. <laughs> Come on, somebody. I, I, I wasn't saying. I was talking about doing some bad things to your, your daughter. Glory to God. Hey, Amen. I'll be real. I just need to be real with folk. I wasn't right. You know, it wasn't right in my head. Glory to God. Didn't know no bear Jesus. So glad that I got glory. I got grace and mercy now because if I had died in that state, I'd probably been in hell. No, ain't no problem. I've been in hell. Heart wasn't right. Oh, quickly. And, and so next thing I know, we down Rock Hall. Man, we, we didn't just crept in. Glory to God. I'm creeping, Fred. I'm creeping. Glory to God. I'm riding to the side. You know what I mean? I got my daddy car, but I'm riding. Glory to God. Amen. Next thing I know, they, they said, it's down that street. I said, what? I put that signal on. And you know, because I just crept in the rock hole. I made that turn. I still can see it today. I made that turn. I'm crippling. Cars coming down the road. I got over. The car did like that. I was like, what is going on? We got out the car. I looked. It was a ditch like that. But the car tire had just went down a bit where I couldn't get traction and the car would not move. <laughs> well, oh, that's not right. That's not right. That is not right. That is not right. That is not right. That is not right. I should not tell this story ever again. Uh, I was wondering what y'all laughing at. And I was like, 
okay, that is so disrespectful. <laughs> they put, don't go to Rock Hall on the screen, and they got a picture of me remembering that moment. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. That's just wrong. Wow. And, well, that spot's over there. Well, since y'all got it on the screen, let's look at it. <laughs> Real quick, I, can't, I ain't got a lot of time. But <laughs> see right here? That thing was deep. That thing deep. They should have filled that thing in. But, I, but I'm going to show you how one bad decision made another bad decision, then another bad decision, then another bad decision. They just kept coming. They never stopped. After I made the one bad decision, see, I didn't do what I know today. And see, if you don't implement what I'm going to tell you today, you're going to keep, you, you can be at that same place where you make one bad decision, then another bad decision, then another bad decision, and then before you know it, you've got a major problem. Are you with me? So that, that big old ditch, oh, they took it off screen, thank the Lord. I mean, that big old ditch, but then here's the one, what was the first bad decision? He told me don't go. All right, should have listened to my, my dad. He knew what he was talking about, you know. Prophecy, glory to God. So then everybody that was in the, 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 the place, that was, they was in there dancing. Then they said, Jack Miller got stuck in the witch court. What? They all come running out. Glory to God. They want to see Jack Miller get, you know, they want to see where Jack Miller gets stuck in. And then they say, they all come out. Then somebody came out and said, hey, guess what? Uh, my uncle get y'all, get everybody out all the time. I said, really? He said, yeah, he just hook your train up and, uh, and get out. Second bad decision. All right, you know, he, he comes by, Uncle, who was it? Uncle Bobby. <laughs> Everybody got an Uncle Bobby in their family. <laughs> Am I right? Well, here come Uncle Bobby. Uncle Bobby come, he jump out the truck, he ready to go. Hey, let me hook you up, boy. You know, and then they tell me, it's the third bad decision. They tell me, don't get in the car, let Uncle Bobby pull the car. Don't you know that's a bad decision? Why? Because if he pulled the car, the car doesn't have no, nothing guiding it out. So Bobby pulls the car. Whoosh, car goes down in the ditch. But Bobby don't know how to stop. He just keep pulling. Sparks are flying. Fourth bad decision. Bobby gets out, takes the chain off. I can't get you out. <laughs> now Bobby's gone. Now my friends, here they go. I, I'm like Job with them. They come up and they say, I, I think we can get enough money to get a tow truck. Where were you at before we called Bobby? <laughs> See, because tow truck will a little bit of money. So, but then we call tow truck. It's in the ditch. He lifts it all the way out. Puts it down. I look at the car. It's all dented up. Scratched and dented on one side. My friends, fifth bad decision, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> I ain't never told you this story. <laughs> I did, but you love to hear it. Every time. My friends told me, they said, maybe we can wash it off. I'll never forget that. They told me I could wash out dents. I was believing in miracles at that time. They did. But Fred, before I said, I told him this. I said, let's get in the car. Let's go back to town. We went back. Before we got to town, there was this road. And something hit me and said, if he's going to kill me, I'm going to kill y'all. <laughs> no lie. I did. And I said, my boy sitting over there on that side, he said, what would that be? <laughs> I said, you're going to die. <laughs> We's all going to die right now. <laughs> and my, my, my friend, <laughs> my friend on the side of me, he saw death coming. <laughs> and he was like, no! The one in back of me. Man, it's all right. Don't worry about it. He don't know. That's propelling me to Because <laughs> it ain't going to be all right. Amen. Because I know that dude. He going to kill me. 
And so why not go with someone else? <laughs> Y'all understand what I mean? Take some of your buddies with you. And uh, he was panicking, man, that, that Montrose, man. I love that boy. He's been having the day. He, man, he was like, no, no, you ain't. No. <laughs> he was screaming. Man, he was beating my leg. Man, no, no, no. Because he saw that, he saw that field coming. And I was like, no, we're going. Ah! Dad, no, dad, 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 dad. He was screaming. And my buddy in the back, Sue in the back, and Sue, 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 you hear this, you was in the back going, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. He rubbed my back, he don't realize I'm gonna get ready to kill him. <laughs> Tro knew I was gonna kill him. Tro knew me. Tro said he gonna die because I knew his father, I knew his daddy. <laughs> so we got in town real quick. We got in town, we washed, we went to the, we washed the car. The dents didn't come out. <laughs> and then I went and parked the car at the house, and the boys came in with me. We went in the kitchen, and my brother came in. My brother came in the kitchen and did like this. <laughs> he said something like, you done done something. I don't know what it is, but y'all ain't right. Y'all never are right. Something that went down. Y'all up in here whispering. Then he went on about his business. And I was like, he don't know. So I told the fellas, just go on home. They went on home. They had to walk home. <laughs> and, until the, and I went to sleep thinking that the dents would go away. <laughs> you know, that this was all a bad dream. Like six bad decisions did not make until it felt like the cops were coming in my room because the door went boosh. I was like, ah, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And all he said was, what did you do to my car? And that was enough to make me feel horrible because he would not say anything and he could not touch me because he was so, and he's like, because if I do touch him now, <clears throat> I will kill him. <coughs> what am I trying to say to you? One bad decision, after another bad decision, after another bad decision, I don't care how good that decision may have looked. Because at that time, that was a good decision. Somebody say amen. amen. I overruled his decision to try to get to another decision. And that just was not right. Somebody say amen. amen. All right. And so I had to recognize. I was always terrified going that road. I'm telling you out there. Amen. But I had to recognize how to make a better decision. How to make good decisions. All right. Now, can we go there real quick? All right. So I have to get to the place. Hunt your neighbor say, I must, I must. get to the place where I'm making good decisions. Amen. Glory to God. I taught that to youth. It was a whole thing. Don't go to Rock Hall. Youth walked out. Don't go to Rock Hall. Listen to your parents. Glory to God. All right. Deuteronomy 30 and 19. Look at this. I call heaven and earth record to this day against you that I have, listen to this, set before you what? Blessing and what? Cursing. Therefore, now look what he tells me. Therefore, that both you and your seed may live. So God expects you, listen to this, God expects you to make the right choice. Amen. He said, I don't care what is set before you, choose life. He said, I know you're going to have different things to choose, but I want you to choose right. When I am mature, i got to quickly go. When I am mature, one thing about being mature is I make righteous decisions. Somebody say, I will make, I will make. a righteous decision. When I, am when I am mature. Maturity does not mean, write this down quickly, maturity does not mean length of time in the church. Maturity, man, I wish that was, I, I wish that maturity did come with being in church because, man, a lot of folk would be. There's a lot of people that have been in church for 20, 30 years and not mature. 
all right? Maturity comes when you make good decisions, all right? And I'm going to show you how real quick. S secondly, maturity does not come because you are a uh, social media queen or king. Just because you can put a scripture on Facebook or Instagram doesn't mean that you are mature. Somebody say amen. amen. Maturity, just you just don't wake up. Number three, you just don't wake up and become mature. All of a sudden, whoo, I'm mature. Man, I wish that would have happened. I would have saved myself a whole lot of trouble in life. I'm telling you today, a lot of your issues and problems come with bad decisions. You're choosing not life, but you're choosing something different. Amen?